and we're live. Hi, welcome to Build Across. It's Tuesday, March 7th. It's my daughter's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ella. Ella. She is 22. So, 22 years young. Yes, we miss y'all. It's weird not being on here every day. Um, but there's just a lot going on. So, we're gonna do butterflies. For spring, since the weather's nice outside, I'm going to show you two different ways that I would paint them for fun. So, this one, these are just standard butterfly shapes that are on the website. They pop up in the uh, most bestseller page. They're like some of the first shapes. This one, I'm going to do like an ombre, but it's going to be more of a side to side ombre. So, I think I'm going to do like yellow to orange here just to give you something to do with these. You could paint them with your grandkids. You could just hang them all over your little patio. You could put them in your classroom. You could do all kinds of stuff. Girl, Abram be changing her room. The child, I go yesterday, she has a hammer and nails. And she is rearranging her wall stuff. What? She's like, I'm old enough to do this. I can decorate myself. <laughs> What'd you do? I just let her, Sarah. I'm too old to care. Okay. She's got like a family photo of us from like probably, how old is she? She's supposed to be eight. It's probably three, almost four years old okay that she refuses to let me like take down yeah. you know how you get the new ones <laughs> um Brandon just I had his text message pop up he can't oh. find his wedding ring I'm like what <laughs> okay um so anyway she refuses to let me get rid of it so it's like it's this big if y'all y'all can't see it me but it's like what 24 inches wide or something feet. yeah and so she's like hanging it over her windows yeah and then she has you know the paintings you've done for of the chicken and sissy girl and we have to get a pig i need to um get that put in um but anyway so she's like in there you know you're gonna come home one day and she's gonna have decorated your house girl that's what i'm trying to keep her out of so i think that's like I don't let her help me do that. And so she's trying to find her place to decorate. Do you know how she is? <laughs> she's very headstrong. Yes. And I'm just like, okay, so I go in there and like, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure she's not going to tear anything up, which she's not. But, well, I say she's not. But, so she's, yeah, got her strung lights up. So I just blended this orange into this yellow here. And we're gonna do something fun when it dries. Um, and I think I'll do the body after it dries. I like too. that. So I'm gonna put this to the side and let it dry a little bit. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna work on the other one because then we're gonna come back with a marker on this one. So on the smaller one, I decided that I would do it kind of like a collage of flowers instead of painting it like a butterfly. So we're gonna do some fun flower shapes on the wings. Billy, this is, Billy, Billy likes to say that he paints everything up here. <laughs> he does such a good job. He taught me everything I know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, I'm just going to make some, like, fun, squiggly flower shapes. And I'm going to show you, so, let's just do, like, one of each color on each wing. And when they're dry, we'll come back in with the Nan marker. Nan says, hi, Billy. Nan. <laughs> We're going to come back in with the marker when they're dry and make them look really unique. Try to take them off the edges, too, because we want to fill in those spaces. I didn't get high enough right there. I guess we'll work in towards the middle. So that's just like a squiggly. I'm going to use the same yellow brush for the orange. On this one, I'm going to do like a, a bigger. You can't mess this up, I promise. Oh, I promise. You can. 
Keep squiggling, just keep squiggling. So today's the first day that I let I took my uh, big turtles outside for the day. I put them in the turtle arium, and I'm really stressed out with the something will get them. Girl, I feel your stress about these animals. Yeah. They're the expensive turtles. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, have a good day, y'all. You know, and them yeah. outside in there, and it's your like, children. Lord, please let them be there when I get home. <laughs> I hope no animals get them. I'm thinking about putting a ring cam out there so I can holler if any animals get in there. Yeah. Well, I didn't tell y'all, but while I was at Canton, uh, you know, Jim had to bring his fuller up here Friday for you, Brittany, so he could ride. You could just drop him by here, and he could head home. But I told him, I said, you're going to have to lock the dogs up in the laundry room because. They'll oh, follow yeah. you, and then they'll be stuck here. And he was like, oh, Mom, they're going to destroy the laundry room. I was like, well, it's not that much to destroy. So, because there's really not much in the laundry room that they could, you know, Just get. get. And so, he gets home, because I'm calling him, like, you know, to make sure he makes it home on the floor, even though it's like, you know what, <laughs> it's nothing. He walks in the house, he's like, oh, they he destroyed it. Matthew can open the door. So he got out of the laundry room. They shredded puppy pads everywhere. Wow. He thought they had ripped open the dog bed and pulled out the stuff in, but it wasn't that. It was just the shredded no puppy, puppy pads. Guys. He was like, he was so mad. <coughs> I was like, just clean it up. And I mean, but once he cleaned up, it wasn't terrible. But it, when he walked in, it was like they had destroyed. They had chewed Scarlett's key to her Telluride. Oh and so it just had some teeth marks in it. It's not destroyed or anything. But I was just like, it was Matthew and Sissy. They got in there and were like, let's destroy this house. I thought I was going to kill them. But then I felt bad because I think one of them's anxious. Like, and so the next day he locked them in the chicken coop, like ran all the chickens out and locked them in there. But we're going to have to put them a fence because they can't, like, they can't be left yeah. in the house. Like Matthew and Sissy can't. Ugh. And they started following him now. So yes. Yes. Separate I've thought about that. Matthew, when we first got him, little bit so it's looking really good. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm just still talking. I just talking. wanted to know why I dried it a little bit. <laughs> um, but like Matthew, he gets like he just screams and screams. Like he's just distraught. Yeah, that's, that's what they. That's what Weeds. he needs. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure it's like marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's can we get some um? Some doggy supplies. CBD. Or one more. Doggy supply. Uh, melatonin. Some melatonin. Or melatonin. Yeah. Bl bless them. Yeah. Bless his heart. He's he was like, a wreck, y'all. Drew's like, I'm not doing it. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think What's he's so stressed about. I just think he has like one of separation. them is naturally anxious. Yes, because like I mean, you know, they just they get sick to their stomach. I'll just put it that way, like stuff like that. And so I know they're like nervous. I don't know which one for sure is Matthew or Sissy. They'd be a handful, but I really Was do Sissy love like them. That before you got Matthew? No, so, so I really think it's more him. Matthew yes. Anxiety. Yes, and they are like just they're together. They're just full force, like they're best friends. Wow. Just yeah, running in mom and dad's yard, and I'm so excited about this spring. I've already started on my yard. I've already started uh, not really planting. I did plant some hydrangeas, but landscaping. Yeah, I'm getting a, a gal an eight by eight galvanized stock pond stock tank. Wow, that's stock. huge, Sarah. I'm going to make a little pool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, you are going to make yeah. a pool. Are I'm you going to put a um, motor in it or whatever? Pump. Yeah. I'm going to put a pump in it and build a little deck around it. I'm so impressed. I know. I'm excited. I'm doing all, getting everything ready for my yard. Because I, I thought about doing an in-ground pool, but it's just me. I just want somewhere to lay out. The little things. stock pond will be great. Even when yeah. Brooks comes over, that'll be yeah. perfect for him. He was so cute in him's boots. He was. He's a mess. <laughs> I was watching the videos on Facebook 
the other night and we're all like, can you say this? Can you say that? Just trying to get him to talk. Yeah. He's just like, no, I'm going to eat this cookie. I'll leave me alone. <laughs> Call them dookies. Dookie? And he, he knows. He watches where I get one from and then he goes to the drawer when he wants another one. Like, he pays attention. He's spying. He's highly intelligent. <laughs> So. Is the check so dirty? We're live on Facebook. Just so you She's like, that's what I'm not going to say. It's <laughs> filthy. It's not filthy. It's, it's it. We're having fun. So I am just painting these little flowers, one right on top of the other. Trying not to blend There's them the too much because I don't want them to get muddy. But just little flower shapes. Debbie says she misses us. We miss y'all too. We just have been so busy. Maybe we can go back to like two days a week or something. Doing um, just shipping and just There's filling in here and there. People going out with kettle corn these yes. days. Yes. So it takes us yeah, doing more things yeah, around here yeah. that, that keep us out of this office room. I could go live, just me by myself a few days. Without the others. That's looking really good. It's fun. Uh, just something different. Let's do a limey flower. Just kind of layer them. If you wanted to take your time and let them dry between layers, you could do that too. I'm moving through it pretty fast. Different sizes, different shapes, and you can't get it wrong. So, um, anyway, I don't really know what we're talking about. Pets? Yes, pets. I think I'm going to get a ring cam so I can watch the turtles. Yeah. Two of them came up. They've been buried since the fall. Wow, was that nerve-wracking? Yes, they look. I didn't know if they were even in there. And they looked like zombies when they came out of the ground all covered in mud. And I was like, oh, it's so good to see you. And they're like, oh, you know, like. Just yeah, because that would be like just, I mean, they're your prized possessions. Yeah. Well, they came came very so oh, so really? Oh, yeah. She came in and was like, he came alive. That is sick. So had, how many do you have left to come up? If they're if they're there, two more. Yeah. I hope they're there, but these two were the last two to disappear last year. Yeah. So the other two disappeared during a real heavy rain time. So I don't know. Yeah. Where they went. And I have a raccoon. How I mean, far I, could they bury themselves? I don't know. Uh, up to three three inches below freeze level. Is yeah, where they're supposed to be, but I, I, uh, if I had a ring camera, I could yell at the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, hopefully, the fence will help that too when I get my fence put up. Hopefully, starting it next week. Yeah, next week. Casey asked, does anybody want Taco Bell? <coughs> I don't think I do. You want to text her back since I'm on the live? So really, I'm just making circle shapes all over this. And then I'm gonna let it dry while we go back to the other one. And then we'll come in and finish with the markers. You really 
I feel like Abram would enjoy doing this. Like, and if I could get her to stay focused and yeah. do that, like it would take time. Like she would, you know, be occupied for a minute. Yeah. That's the main thing. She would find something totally different that she was going to do. Oh, yeah. When I taught my, at the kids camp this summer, this last summer, and there was a little girl, and everybody made a flower pot, and she made this, she turned hers upside down and made something really weird. Well, the whole thing was when when they were outside playing, I was going to come back with the markers and outline the flower pots. Yeah. Well, I outlined her flower pot, and she came unglued, because that's not what it was, and she like full on temper tantrum lost it. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> you just say, oh goodness, it'll be okay. <laughs> it'll be all right. She lost it. We had to go back and like fix it, make it look like whatever she wanted it to look like. All right, I'm going to add one more little flower over here with this mixture of colors. They kind of get smaller in the middle and go bigger on the outsides. So, oh wait, I see yep. a spot. You see it? Yep, I just saw it. And then we're going to go back to the other one. Okay, so while this dries really well, we'll move back over here. Girl, be careful. What? You just threw that on top of your purse. <laughs> okay, so we got a clear view here. Let me draw this just a little bit more. All right, let me turn it this way. So I'm going to use this fat Sharpie marker, and the first thing I'm going to do is give them a body here. Just with some wavy lines, you can even it out with your marker. However you want to do it, we're going to fill it in. You could use black paint on this too. I'm just choosing to use the marker. So then you want to give the whole outline all the way around. So take your fat marker and just sit it on the edge and outline all the way around. Make that smooth. After you get each wing done, you're going to come in and do some designs. So maybe a little spiral here. You can make it fat or skinny or skinny to fat and fat to skinny. Is that one? This one. You could do any kind of design you wanted on here. I think that. Uh, you should do though because butterflies match really well. You should do what you do on one and do on the other. You need some what? Give it a little tail here. A little tail there. Let's do like a fun little triangle shape. Yeah. Right there. Um, let's do some dots. Yeah. One, two, three. 
two, three. Do some dots right here. See how I'm doing it though? You just, what you do to one, do to the other. And that will fill in your space and eventually make it into something really pretty. Um, I'm gonna do one more little swirl thing right there. And just a little wave. So there is our Monarch impression. You could gradient that any way you wanted to across. It could have been yellow all the way to red or pink or whatever you wanted to. But it's just a fun way to create a little monarch butterfly impressionist look. So now we're going to switch over to the flower butterfly. Looks like it got kind of dry. Drag this a little bit more. <coughs> So in this one, we're going to use the, well, we'll use the thick marker for the center body. Again, just fill it in. You could, you could have done it first. Um, I didn't, but you can just draw around where your flowers are. If you had done it first, though, you would have just put your flowers on top of its body, which is technically what I teach you to do. Okay, I see what you're saying. So we're going to use our little one for this one. I'm going to start on this side because I'm left-handed and I tend to go across. But what I want you to do is just give, like, your flowers some centers, do some little lines. <laughs> These don't have to be perfect. They're just like, just representations of some flowers. Draw however you want to. You can do swirls, squiggles, however you want to do it. I'm just kind of giving the impression of flowers. I'm going to hit some white paint. This one's kind of wet too. Just light. You don't have to use a really heavy marker on this part. I think the lighter marker gives a prettier, wispier feel. It's wet. I'm trying not to get on the wet ones. It looks really good. Just to what I'm doing. Yes. I want it to be dry because I don't want to ruin my marker.
The ones underneath just need little swivel marks and they'll be fine. I love it. <laughs> but you can just sit and do your little markers. All of those aren't Taylor. Early, so I don't really want to run my marker. But, hello, hello. Hey, Taylor. It's been forever. What we got? It's That's been it. forever. They took you off of this? The, the route doesn't have that much stuff to deal with mine. So I've been in West Monroe. I've been in this here. Oh, you miss us. I miss y'all. It was sad, wasn't it? Yeah. I was us. like, my route's never going to be. <laughs> oh, it'll pick up. When does yes. it t really pick up? Like, like yeah, now, Marchish. Like, yeah. people getting that buying fever for the spring, spring, fall, and Christmas. Yeah. We'll get, we got you back. Appreciate it. That's all I need. I mean, the other guy was okay. He was great. He had a good personality. Yeah, yeah he was he nice. He wasn't you. Yeah, hey. He wasn't that's, you. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, it just wasn't the same. Every day it was like... Oh. I know. <laughs> I felt the same way. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Ooh. she is so cute. Like, I don't know how y'all stand it. I know. I know. Like, just, my goodness. She is precious. Look at that. Oh my goodness. She's like, just want to bite her. Do you just want to bite her? Oh, every morning? Yes. <laughs> so I like feed her and like feed her a bottle, and then we'll sit in the recliner, and she's just kind of jumping on me. Uh -huh. And then she'll, like, Lay on my chest, and I'm like, "This is why. Yes. This, this is, is my why. Like, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Babies are so fun. Precious. I yeah. still carried Abram and Canton, and she's getting a little big. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, oh, she's almost eight. She'll be eight in May, and I'm like hauling her around just a little bit because she's like, Mama, please carry me.' And I'm like, "Well, since I only have like maybe a couple months left." Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. My son's almost five. At the end of March, he'll be five. Yeah. And he's like growing. And, yep. But he still wants me to hold him. Yeah. Stuff, so I'm like, you know, trying to lean back. You know, hold him <laughs> I saw I tell Amber, I was like, I can't finish walking through this arbor with you on my hip, child. Right. She's like, please, mom, I'm not that big. Yeah. I'm like, Aww. you're getting there. You're getting there. What you doing? Just getting in. Some Taco Bell. Did you get a power bowl? Yes, I did. I'm so excited about this. It's about lunchtime for me, too, so that's making me hungry. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Hey, hopefully I'll kind of be back and, you know, yeah. every day. Yay. I we'll be sure to place lots of orders for you, P.S. Yeah, I mean, that one measly old box, y'all, you know, step it up a little I started bit. getting everything sent <laughs> to the office in instead of my house. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. I love so, it. There's our little flower butterfly, and there's our monarch impressionist butterfly. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I didn't do too much talking. And you can show us what you try at home, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye. Bye.